Have you heard what's going on in open access? Oh, you mean Plan S? All the research that public bodies support must be published in fully open access journals or platforms from January 2020. I think it's a great idea. It will speed up the transition to open access worldwide. I'm not sure it's enough. The agencies who have signed up so far fund around 3.3% of global research. Most of Europe is already heading this way and it produces 30% of research articles. True, but what if the US doesn't join? Or China takes a different approach? Then will we see a global transition to open access? I'm worried that Europe is rushing ahead here before the rest of the world comes on board with open access and we could lose out on global collaboration. At least it sends a strong signal to publishers that they need to embrace open access. Maybe, but it could become a barrier for EU scientists publishing in hybrid journals where you can publish open access or behind a paywall. We could be excluded from publishing in some high-impact journals. This fixation on impact factors is part of the problem. We need to change the academic reward system so there isn't such a pressure to publish. I don't want my career to suffer because I can't publish in non-open access journals. None of this would be a problem if publishers made all their journals fully open access. That's a big if, and Plan S's deadline of January 2020 doesn't give them a lot of time to change their practices. It's a question of principle. If the research is paid for with public money, then the public should be able to see the results. We have a duty to share the value of our work with the public, but it's not only about getting papers published. For me, this is about helping us, the scientists, communicate with each other. That's what open access enables. Scientists anywhere in the world can use the articles they need for free. What happens to people who don't have funding after a full transition, like those based in developing countries? That's an argument for waivers, discounts and fairer pricing structures, not an argument against open access. The point is there's been very little consultation with the global research community on these plans. Yet, we are the ones who will be impacted. This is about a much bigger goal, making science more open. What, what do, do you, you think? think? The Royal Society of Chemistry cares deeply about the future of open access, but we don't have all the answers. What we do have is a clear mission to advance excellence in the chemical sciences. As a not-for-profit organization, we invest our surplus in initiatives that help the people who are researching, teaching and practicing chemical science. Our aim is to act in our community's best interests, supporting and helping as they secure chemistry's future. This includes speaking up on issues that affect our community, like open access and developments like Plan S. The open access landscape is changing fast and there are many questions still to be answered about its future. We want to hear what researchers like you think so we can represent you in the right way. Because a conversation this important must include your voice.